Hello everyone, it's the guy in the basement and then today the topic is who are we blaming? Yes, the coronavirus has been expanding and all over the world and the finger pointing is really has really reached its high point. First of all, I said this a couple weeks ago that I'm going to blame the Chinese government because they tried to sweep it under the rug and they, they couldn't contain it. And they tried to not tell the world like it was like a dirty little secret. Well, unfortunately, Chinese government's little dirty little secret got out and it spread across the world and left everybody in a freaking panic. Thank you very much. And they could have done it. But like I said, they didn't want to tell anybody. And they just kind of, I don't know, it's just frustrating, to tell you the honest truth. They could have done something, but unfortunately they didn't. They tried, but it was, I think, in my opinion, it was a little too late. Now, wait for it. Who else do we blame? Let's blame the United States government, too. Why not? I'm, seriously. I mean, did the United States government handle it very well? Not really. Back in January, President Trump says, don't worry, America. We have everything under control. Meanwhile, typhoid Mary's on its way. This virus spread like a wildfire through the United States. But yet, the United States government says, we have everything under control. I say bullshit. They could have handled it a little bit better. They could have closed our borders. They could have closed the borders. They could have shut down a lot of things. They could have shut down traveling travelers who were coming, who were going to Europe and coming back with it. Europe was getting hit hard at the time. But people kept traveling. And I blame some of the people who traveled. What were you thinking? Oh, wait, you weren't. You could have took your loss, cut your losses, but you didn't. You had to go travel. Some of you came back okay. Others, not so bad, not so much. So the United States government does, and now the United States government is doing everything they can to, you know, try to corral this. Today they said it's, or I think it was yesterday or today, they said it's leveling off. Bullshit. <laughs> we surpassed Italy in the death toll today. That's not good. Hell no, that ain't good. But our government has everything under control. I, I, like I said, I say bullshit. But it is what it is. It's an airborne virus that just went hog wild and it's hard to contain these viruses. I don't care what anybody says. These viruses are hard to contain. If you don't jump on them right away, like I said, it's going to be a typhoid Mary from hell. And it has been. It's like unleashing one of the four horsemen, who which name is Pestilence, throughout the world. They should just call it the Pestilence Virus. This little virus, microscopic bug, has basically has held the world hostage, has almost, has basically, what else can I say? The world's economy is in the shitter because of this. People are afraid to go out, as we know. It's a scary deal. And our government, and the Chinese government, I don't know about anybody else's government, really. I, don't, I, I have no idea how they're handling it. But all I know is Chinese. the Chinese government tried to sweep it under. Our government tried to control it, but they lost control. And the body count keeps growing in the United States. I don't know. Another thing that kind of irked me today... Um, what I heard, what I read on my Twitter account, that Donald Trump, 
you know, as, as you know, he's been holding all those news conferences uh, this past week. He got on the Twitter, I think it was a day ago, saying he has great ratings. I thought to myself, oh boy, you have great ratings. Meanwhile, the body count keeps climbing in the United States. But by God, Donald Trump has great ratings. Figure that one out. I I read that and I just went, oh dear God. That proves one thing. Donald Trump, you have a freaking big ass ego, man. Because you're concerned about ratings. You should be concerned on what's going on right now. You should be concerned that your body count is going up every day and we have already passed Italy. But you have everything under control and you have good ratings. <laughs> wow. And, and, and if you do, I mean, if you don't believe me, go to his Twitter account and look it up. It's there. Trust me. And you might find it a little disturbing. <laughs> yet, but you can find it kind of funny, but yet probably a little bit disturbing. It's a scary virus. No matter, yes, I we've been made, I you got to sometimes you have to joke about it. And there's been a lot of jokes. I mean, if you have Facebook or whatever, you've seen the jokes. But all in all, it is a serious virus. So everybody, please stay, 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 do whatever you need to do. Stay in, whatever. Wash those hands. Deet! And just stay safe. What the hell do I know? I'm a guy in the basement hiding from the coronavirus. We'll see you next time, everyone. Before I go, I always forget about this. Before I go, hit that like button. Write a comment or drop me an email at drunkfarmer67 at gmail.com. I like reading your emails and I do respond to them. So please, you want to email me, you can do that. Until then, I'm Drunk Farmer. This has been the guy in the basement. We'll see you next time, everyone.